Well, good day, Rusters. Welcome back to Rust. We are sleeping. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I bet you that's the convoy just going by again. Oh, boy. Yep. Sure was. Which convoy is it? Hmm. Oh, boy. Uh, ouch! The cool thing with this convoy is you can walk right up to them and uh, they won't uh, hurt you or anything, right? So, unless you engage them. That's probably just an easy convoy, 52 minutes. Now, I don't really have a good cover here, but uh, yeah, it's only got the one. Dude, don't run over this way. It's only got the one uh, tank on the front, one on the back. So, anyways, welcome back to Rust. Oh, somebody's not liking me. Really? You better stop that. You're gonna keep pursuing, are you? You better get back. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, really? Sorry, bud. <clears throat> Trying to catch up to the convoy. And we'll show you how, how bad this could get here. Sure is weird walking up behind a, a Bradley here and it's not turning and blasting you. If I can catch up. Slowly catching up. Now this is what happens if you uh, get too close to the convoy and you actually engage them. And uh, yeah, it won't, it won't last long. <laughs> the Bradley will probably take me out before the, the guys get out and take me out likely. Now, if you step in front of them, I think for sure they're going to uh, run you over. Look at the steering. <laughs> Just cranking her, bud. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, this Bradley's going to destroy me real quick. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work too well. Hey, but that's all right. We were just playing with them. Now, this is a bag, I believe, in this weird, weirdy tower I got here. Is it? Yes. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. I'm sorry to cough into your ear, man. Oh, something got stuck in my throat. I don't know what it was. Probably my beard. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. My goodness. Ugh. Do apologize to you. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. There's a lot of them. Um, okay. Oh. What was it called? Top, yeah. Okay, this should take us up to the top of this tower. Which is great. But it's too high up. Now, these guys should be uh, right there. Oh, boy. That's a long... Well, let's see if... Uh, oh, that's a long, long, long shot. Getting hits on them. These tank guys are like 500 health. See how far that is. 315 yards <laughs> or meters, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, now if we take that guy out of there, and uh, I could use the sniper rifle. I kind of like this quick reloading rapid fire or this 249 now. If we aim about there, oh, see how much that drops. I see a high. There we go. Right in the back of the neck, right in the head. Three hundred twelve. Okay, where's the guy way up front? We see him. Oh man, we can. That'd be about the furthest guy there, maybe. So we're gonna have to aim about here. Oh, 
That was a headshot from probably 400 yards away. Three hundred sixty two yards. Oh, I wasn't quite as far as I thought. That's something, <clears throat> if they changed and rushed here with these guns, you know, that's just like basically, basically auto-aiming, I'm going to say. Because I get it there, and it does its recoil, and then it comes right back to the same spot. Let me tell you, if they changed that, where it was, you know, come back and you're over here, and you're, or you, you know, you'd shoot, and you'd, and you'd be like this, and you'd be way over here, and you had to re-aim every time, that would make the game way harder. Especially for, like, PvP stuff. Player versus player stuff. Come on now. <laughs> I think I might be hitting the tank. Oh, that got him. See, I'm so far away, I guess, here, they don't realize that someone's actually shooting them. Because normally, if you're close enough, once you start shooting one of them, they'll kind of run after you. Now, I couldn't I couldn't fully auto-fire here, because then you would be way up. If you just kind of let her settle down and reset and do kind of semi-auto-fire, it comes up pretty good. It's a pretty small target out there, you know, like, holy smokes. These guys shouldn't take quite as much. I think they're only, uh, they're only 200, I think, these guys. The tank guys are the ones that are the tough ones. Okay, so we'll get all the guards down here, hopefully, but uh, we'll still have the Bradleys that are looks like quite active. So we got some more Bradley guards there yet. Oh, they're right behind that pole too. That's not going too good. I like how it gives you a little thing. Come closer. Come closer. No thanks. Well, there's the actual crate. Now, if you destroy that truck, where you get the crate, of course you lose the crate, right? Okay, tanks left. And these guys will actually heal themselves. Let's not quite take that guy down. He'll probably start healing himself with uh, some shots. <clears throat> I don't know if they'll animate that this far out. So those are getting through. Some of them are hitting that pole, but 
There's still one guy right there. I don't know if I'll be able to get him or not. I didn't see this guy healing, so <coughs> we'll just prevent him from healing. <laughs> we'll say. All right, now this guy, uh... <sighs> mm. to do something else for him. Uh, I'll just go to town, which is right down there. Town! And wake up! Okay, now we gotta go northwest, which is basically this way. Oh, that door's already open. I left my door open up there, didn't I? Yes, I did. AD turns off your automatic doors. And that's a bit of a walk. So we'll take a little flight. It's way up here, so that would have been a little bit of a walk. Short flight through our building? Sure. Alright, is that the one... Who's that running around here? Is that the... Ooh, he don't like me so much. Oh, boy. Boy. Oh, sorry, Minnie. Okay, we better uh, switch these back because it'll be too close range and get that reloaded. I wonder if I can here, a little bit of an advantage. Oh, come on. You can't climb that little wee rock, bud. Now, let's see. Where did that soldier go? There he is. He's in... Oh, we missed one, maybe. Oh, there he is. He's looking right at me. All right, <clears throat> we're clear, and uh, we got to get these Bradleys out, of course. Ooh, where is that one going? That'll do. Now this one is probably going to be a little bit closer. How close is he? If we zip up here, we can do the old, uh, can't see me trick. As long as you uh, keep strafing or strafing, if you want to call it strafing or strafing, he won't get you. Just like that. Alright, now we gotta get this crate, but we gotta take the rest of the vehicles out except the vehicle with the crate on it. Well, this car's gotta go. I seriously shot right through the windows twice there. <laughs> what? Lagged a bit. Okay, so we don't take that one out, but we take this other sedan out. Grandpa's car. There we go. There's all the guys laying there from... Wow, that was a long shot when you look at that. We're hitting these guys way up here. We were right there. <laughs> In that tower just underneath that one. Wow. 
So these guys will have a bit of junk on them. I'll just take the ammo, I think. I don't really want the ba Actually, you know what? I'll take the bandage, too, just for now, and then... It makes it easier just to zip the stuff out like that. Don't want the bows, though. All those guys are still on fire! So we'll get some of these other guys, too. And, of course, the crate. Arming module. Electronic junk. Yeah. I guess we can upgrade that. Okay, now we gotta take this guy out too. That's the end of that guy. Now we'll check these fellers out. Sometimes they got a bit of junk on them, but uh, sometimes they don't. Just uh, stockpile the ammo, I guess. Probably should take that mask, but I do have a bunch of them already. Oh. Hello. There we go. Okay. So there we did the convoy all by ourselves. So it was pretty good. I think I've done the hard one by myself too. And it was um, four tanks, two on the front, two on the back. It's a little bit more involved. Okay, these guys are all on fire. This guy should be going out first, though. Yeah, this guy with a bow should be able to get this guy. Oh, look at the contortion of the leg. Blech. Still some fire. And uh, we're good there. Good there. Okay, fire. So what I actually wanted to show you today is something... Uh, well, Kid Kelly's the one of the admins on here, and uh, they have the uh, plug-in on here, which was called J-Pipes. And if you guys remember that, you can, say, have a pump jack or something going, or a quarry going, you run this pipe. It's not really a pipe. It's, you know, like a building thing, but they call it pipes anyways. But you run it from... Uh, say, the quarry down to a box into your house or something, right? So, you know, it works pretty good on a PvP server because then people can't really steal your stuff as easy, if you know what I mean. So, huh, I think that one's going out first, but I hit that one last. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, but, yeah, so they've got... Um, They have that on here, and it wasn't working. And I said to Kid uh, Kid Kelly there, I'm like, hey, you know the uh, J-pipe is wor isn't working? He's like, oh, well, what's wrong with it? I'm like, well, you could hook a J-pipe up to, um, what was it now? You could hook it. No, they weren't hooking up at all, I don't think. Where, you know, you do the slash P, I think it was. And... Uh, that would open up the uh, the menu, right? And you could do all your stuff with the hammer or whatever, whatever have you. But and he so he tries like, oh, oh, okay, well. And then he looked at it. It's like, oh, well, this plugin hasn't been updated for I think it was like the last six months. I'm like, oh, well, there's your problem. So he ended up finding another one, and it's called Sync Pipes. S Y N C Pipes. Pretty much exactly the same thing. Uh, pretty much exactly the same thing. So um, we got that uh, in anyway. So I wanted to show you something that we uh, have done, which worked out pretty good. And uh, he actually helped me out with it there. He's like, oh, here, if you do it this way, you can uh, have like a complete circuit. I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so let's go get the back. Bradley crates here. I think I've got some room for this, maybe. Back here. Oh. So, yeah, those could have gone there and saved me a bit extra room. Uh, so we got over another stack of C4 now. And yeah, that guy's been cleaned. Now, I'll take a door. I don't really want that 
stuff. Yeah, but this is the convoy plug-in. It's been uh, it's been pretty fun this one actually. Sometimes the hard one you get the uh, helicopter. And of course you got to get him out first. And as soon as you engage the chopper too, the guy, the guys stop wherever they are and he comes after you. So pretty cool, pretty cool plug-in. All right, these guys should be good. All right, so that's convoy cleared. Now they drop all their guns too, but I'm not gonna go pick up all that. There's a colorful one. All right. Well, while we're going through here, we'll score a little extra cash, breaking barrels. It's 90 bucks more there. That's not too bad. Very good. Um, okay, so that's a new base up here since I was in last. Yeah, someone's moved in. That's good. Across from the giant monster Weirdy Tower. Alright, so we've got two of these going. I'm going to show you both of them here. Now we're going to have a couple of guys... The gas station. There should be one on the roof somewhere, too. Oh, this guy's being brave. <laughs> Now, we did just take that other guy out. He might have respawned already. I don't know. The mechanic. That's a garage. Oh, there's another new base up there, too. Someone spilt something. Lots of walls and stuff. Interesting. What are you hiding? What are you hiding? All right. So, yes, down here is one of our bases. Another 50 bucks for us. Oh, there he is. Close. Um, okay. So this is a self as... No, it's not... It, it is self-feeding, but you have to keep wood in it. For the furnace, or the refinery, sorry, to keep going. But it does... Okay, so what happens here is you start with fuel in it as normal. Get it started. That makes the oil. Pumps the oil out. Takes it down this... Which This is the pipe. That's what they call pipe. And these are upgradable from, you know, all four things, right? So that comes with the oil straight into here. Into the uh, refinery. If I go... Okay. There we go into the refinery so you can see it'll flash here probably yeah, there's an oil it's making that boom boom okay so that goes from so the the fuel goes from here into this box you'll see it flash here briefly so fast it doesn't want to flash maybe anyways it'll put a fuel in there and then boom boom it takes it right back up to fuel on the thing here so that's basically completed a circuit I'll show you a little bit more of it here in a second but this is gonna put all your fuel now to keep this thing uh, running automatically in here so now this will slowly build up a little bit of fuel in here right and it, it'll use a little bit for this guy too so so I emptied this out last night I think there had I think there was like 38 in it now I've got 11,437 so if we watch that a little bit here it should slowly climb now it's gone down to 443 442 so it's used one for the the pump jack now it's gone up to 445 it should go down a little bit again now this is all going to depend yeah it's down one now it should be 446 447 so it's 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 working now this all depends of course how um how much oil you're taken out of the ground you know whatever number of oil you're getting but uh, yeah so but what I was mentioning about the wood you gotta have a good supply of wood here that's the only thing to keep the uh, refinery going so we got a stack and almost 51,000 ish so that'll be another almost it keeps this to a full stack in here 
So if your stack was only like 100, it would keep this to 100. If your stack was a million, it would keep this kind of to a million in here, right? So this uh, little box out here keeps a bit of overflow, right? So it's always it's always uh, restocking this box out here, right, to the 500,000. Boom, 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 using a bit, 500,000, boom, boom, using a bit. And the oil comes in, boom, changes that, boom, boom, out to that box and up to the thing again. So it's building it up, using it up by there. Now you also got the problem with this uh, charcoal burning up, right? Let me just put another box over here and then get over there. Put another box here and that's your charcoal there. So almost got two stacks of charcoal in there. So that's how that works, but you just got to keep a good steady flow of wood to her. And then uh, it's basically... Uh, an endless loop kind of thing, as long as your wood doesn't run out, right? So, now what happens if your wood runs out? Oh, hang on, I got no room. Okay, so if your wood, come on, wood, take that out of there, and then this is, of course, got this in here, so let's, uh, let's just take this down a whole bunch here. Actually, I could just do that would have been faster. That there, and we'll take that out. Okay, now this is simulating the wood runs out. Oh crap, the wood ran out. Okay, well that's not good. Now this thing should keep going for a while until the fuel ran out of those barrels. So that thing will keep going, but now you're going to have fuel building up in here, right? So it's basically kind of shut the refinery off. So you'll have your fuel building up in here still, which is all good, but then it's not going to get refined. So eventually, of course, those tanks would run out and then this thing would stop. So you just keep the wood poured to it. Now this should automatically put wood through and starts right up again on its own. That's interesting. I don't remember it starting up on its own, but this will slowly fill us up to uh, 500,000 again. So these pipes here are upgraded as high as they can get to the high quality. So, uh, yeah, but that's kind of how that, that works. It's pretty cool. All right, so we got another one set up here, too. Not that I need all this fuel. It's just, uh, that's fun setting stuff up. So up on the hill here, past the town. I should put a step there. Uh, I don't have any actual wood with me. That's already not a big deal. So yeah, up on the hill here is the other one, and it's doing the same pipe thing. Um, works pretty good. Seems to, anyways. It's continuously making fuel. Now, if I wanted to, you could run pipes. Now, with this one here across the road, I don't think you could cross a road with it. I, well, maybe you could. I don't know. I never tried that. But say I had these guys here. This would really kind of mess up the map a little bit here in this area, but you could run a pipe to a box out here, run another pipe to another box. So, so far distances away, you know, Run it to there, to there, and say say this was my base. I could run it right into that building, right? If you really wanted to pipe them all together to bring all the fuel back down. But this little kind of closed-loop system, it kind of keeps the thing running. If you ran the fuel down into your building, you know, you could could have done this, but, like, say this base wasn't here. You could just run it down to there, right? And that would work. And you could also, if I wanted to run it up to that pod up there, I could also do that, too. You'd have to kind of build up. Well, you could run it across the ground and then up the building, I guess, through boxes. Or you could actually start here and build a little platform up, put a box up, delete the platform. You could actually have it going all the way up there in the air, too. Boxes su su supported from a foundation that's not there. So here's actually the first one we built, and it's doing the same thing. Kid kind of changed it a bit, though, because this one was kind of going weird through here, but... It's, uh, it's doing the same thing, so got charcoal here. He was a little more inventive with the boxes. Got lots of wood, of course, in there. Let's restack those. Yeah, we got lots of wood. Oh, this door's open. Okay, not now. Must have been in there before with my automatic door off. But, uh, yeah, this is making fuel here, too. So 17, 227. So let's uh, go... No, uh, HQ. 
So I sort of set this up down here too, same sort of thing for the high quality metal with two uh, things coming into one. So everything's actually coming into here. So you'll see this kind of slowly going up here, hopefully. Well, slowly anyways. Uh, so same sort of thing. Except this doesn't have automatic fuel feed, and I still got to come bring put fuel in. So, so it's got lots of fuel there, and it's making making the stuff. There's one there, and this is kind of what I was talking about: how you could run it, you know, across the map if you wanted to, right, between boxes. So, this actually dipped down underneath the map here, which is kind of neat too, and then comes out of the ground. So there's a box here that it's going into feeding, right? So you'll see this stuff. Hey, you might actually not see it stop here for a split second. No, I don't think you will. But uh, that's basically going going right through. And uh, same thing again. You just got to feed the, the fuel to this thing. I think I went to the wrong side. I sure did. That one's not mine up there. I don't know whose it is. but So this one's got quite a bit of fuel too. So yeah, that's working and pushing it all the way up to there. So pretty cool. Uh, home. Let's go put away all the stuff we just scored. Alright, we'll start with some ammo. The boxes are slowly drying in. Drying in. Ammo, 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 ammo. I know there's more ammo there. We'll do. No, oh, no, that's the wrong box for that. Comps, comps, construction. Uh, save these silly things I didn't really need to, but we did. Oh, no, not that one. Whoops, what am I doing that one? Ammo and ammo. Okay, and we got some more stuff here. Think that'll do, so we got electrical stuff. Uh, we got some components there, and we got some construction, and we got some ammo, 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 and guns. Got that not stack. There we go. And uh, okay, we got some scrap. Oh, that fire went out. Oh, that's why it's so crazily cold in here. Oh, okay. We need another stack of wood. I think I got some in my... S yes. That just creates a little bit... Well, I got lights here, but... Actually, that looks kind of cool, the shadows. <laughs> Fired up. 500,000 wood. That should last about a week. I uh, got lots of these things happening. These we got upgrade. And put that there. Sweet. Like there's really keeping a bit of this stuff on me, but don't oh, probably don't really need it. There's a gun we could put away. Now, uh, I got into a cave, of course, here. And, uh, see, I started off with this refinery. It's probably fueling it. Yeah, there is. <laughs> and it's probably a bunch of wood here. We don't really technically need this down here, I guess, now, but. This is one of these buried caves that you can only kind of build in the middle sort of thing here. It's kind of kind of different. This is the one you got to jump to and stuff. And uh, it's pretty tricky getting in here. I did do it, though. But boy, oh boy, if I uh, hollow this out a little bit underneath here and put some turrets around here, that's going to make it real crappy for someone trying to get in there. I think you come this way, too, if I remember right. Uh, I just don't remember now. I've been down here for a wee while. There might be another cave down here, too. I'm not sure. This is like the big cave system, right? This all cave in here. Well, that's going up. Ooh, free junk. Huh. i would never seen it do... There we go. Do that before. <laughs> Uh, where's this way go now? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, you can climb up there. Okay, well, or this other way go then, because that looked like it went up too. Oh, that's nice. 
bright light or an opening or something up there. What is up there? Is that where you fall down in or something? I probably can't even get up there. No, anyways. Where would this go now? Oh, yeah, you fall down in here. That's right. Oh, someone is built down in here. Oh, no, never mind. Tricked ya! Tricked me, too. <laughs> oh, that's part of this other jump. So if we jumped, I think, off of there somewhere, we'd actually end up in the back of our cave again. So... Oh, where's this go then? We'll leave that closed, maybe. Just want the free money. Oh, yes. I do remember this now. So this should take us up to the silo thingy, whatever they call these things. You can enter here, too. This um, is a lot trickier getting into that place. But um, I think we did fall down there, so you wouldn't be able to get back up there. This one you can go down here, too. I'm not going to explore all that right now. but Yeah, I just basically wanted to show you them uh, oil things or so, but... Uh... Yeah. So this comes up here. Should be guarded with guys down here or something, too. And there we go. We're out. Right there. The big tower. Should be able to climb up this, actually. Do believe. Yeah, a little guard tower, right? Oh, boy. Took me a while to get into that. Whoa. Took me a while to get into that little base, though, I'll tell you. So there's another garage over there. I can see the one guy. Two guys up there. Hmm. There you go. Oh, there's the uh, Arctic Research Base with the snowmobiles in uh, these buildings here. Oh, he f smoked himself. No, I can't see him. Stinker, eh? Anyways, I, I just want to show you those um, pump jack things. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a, a daily crate over there. Oh, this is a pretty good spot to come up here. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Oh, there's a bear there. Oh, he's coming back this way. Oh, boy. Someone's got their quarry there, probably doing high quality. That's good. Another one way over there. Anything that way. Yeah. But anyways, that's it for today. Just a shorty. I wanted to show you those and uh, did that convoy while it was going by, too. I wasn't really expecting that. But we did her anyways, so that's good. Ha! 240 meters. That's pretty good. 128 meters. Should be more guys walking around here. They're just not spawning in yet. There we go. But anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.